So, how did I, Kyra John, in the year 2022, find out how to get so many clients and keep myself consistently busy every month of the year? Just a few key phrases. Photography booking agencies. These are like smaller scale um, photography booking agencies that connect you basically to everyday people and a few pretty decently, you know, decent sized businesses that will get you booked almost every single day of the week. The first company is Snapper. This company is really well rounded in the different type of clients that you could pick up. Now with Snapper, a lot of the time, um, initially you have to actually get approved to get in. So it almost it like in a sense is like a specific agency where like, yo, in order to get in your portfolio has to be up to par. Like you have to have a good and well rounded portfolio. The, this company allows you to get bookings from newborn, food photography, events portraits dating profile engagements um product photography uh automotive commercial um photography um a, 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 a plethora of things so yeah like i said this company you have to get approved to get in right but so how they work is they have basically they go they have like a ranking system you basically get points the more the better you do with your gigs like the better the 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 clients responses are to you um you know the better the faster you upload your photos and stuff like that like the more amount of points you get so obviously it creates an incentive for you to be able to really like rank up there um you or you're able to end up ranking on like one of the main pages as like top photographers that people can choose from it's, it's clutch in a way they have a good partnership with doordash so if you're trying to get your feet well wet in the in the realm of like food photography that is a good stepping stone for you to be able to actually build up your your food photography um portfolio that's that's that was one of my cheat codes i probably did like almost 200 restaurant shoots just through doordash this year alone you know what i'm saying so yeah they're they're a great company um the i would say the downside is one is the fact that you like i said it you have to get approved to get in. So if you don't have a portfolio that's well-rounded and your, your photographs aren't like technically up to par, you'll definitely get denied. You can always apply again. So that's never really much of an issue. The second con with the company is the fact that there are fixed prices. Now, if you are a photographer, like you're just trying to get clients, you're trying to build a portfolio and you don't really care about pricing just because of the fact that you're trying to get your feet wet, Snapper is great for that. But like I said, they have fixed pricing. So if you're used to charging, like I mentioned in a video the other day, if you're used to charging $350 for a two hour engagement shoot, you're not going to get that shooting with Snapper. Like your prop they charge about i think like one 135 an hour but they take a percentage so your cut after that one hour you're only getting like 89 dollars you know what i'm saying you do a two hour shoot you're only getting like 130 dollars three hours you're getting like 199 so like i said for photographers who are kind of like if if, if snapper is great for keeping your calendar full you know what i'm saying but if you're used to charging a higher caliber price this may not be for you. If you're a photographer who's just beginning and you're just trying to really like build, like I said, build up a clientele list and build up a portfolio, great. You know what I'm saying? But yes, they have fixed prices. You cannot choose your prices. You cannot input your own, you know, custom prices into Snapper. Um, the second con that I kind of noticed working with them is the fact that eh, the you really don't get paid for travel right so for example like with doing work with doordash they have a fixed price for example right for 15 photos for a one and a half hour shoot working with them through doordash you get um a hundred and nine dollars that's your that's your income so whether you move you drive an hour and 30 minutes whether you drive 30 minutes away rather the rather if the restaurant is five minutes from your house if it's 15 you're getting paid the same fixed price they do not they only charge you they only pay travel if it's like outside of like your your specific service area so with snapper it allows you to pick a service area so if you're in brooklyn you could you know um, customize your service area to only take shoots in Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? And if you do happen to get a shoot that's outside of that that service area, then. But for the most part, if you have a wide service area, the wider the service area, if you're like the only photographer within a certain mile range to be able to be picked, then you're 
you're not getting any you're not getting any travel fee so like that's the thing that that kind of sucks with this specific um companies you're not really getting travel fees so if you're a person who only wants to go 30 minutes then you might have to like you know focus in your service area so at least you feel comfortable just going within those 30 miles or not 30 miles like those 30 minutes to be able to get to a specific place rather than going out an hour and to make the same amount that you would go if you did an hour versus doing 15 to 20 minutes out one of the biggest pros is the fact that with Snapper, they actually sync with your calendar. Now, so like, like I said, so if you're a photographer that has bookings from already multiple places, you're doing your own um, gigs and stuff like that, and you have Snapper as a company to just fill up the calendar, like literally, if you have bookings on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, they'll, they won't book you for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. They'll book you for days a lot of time where there's open slots in the calendar. So it'll automatically sync with your Google. It will sync with your iCloud, you know what I'm saying? So automatically people can see like when you have availabilities and you won't get booked out. Um, the second company that I've done work with, the second booking agency, their name is Miro. Now this one, they kind of, they have different specialties, but my focus with them right now is food photography they do a lot of real estate too but with the thing with miro is the fact that a lot of the time they'll they with miro they they are connected directly with grubhub so the plus with them is the fact that they actually give you compensation for how much further out you're driving on top of those gigs there might be a base price of like 101 dollars and um, you get, you definitely get travel compensation and you also get paid more depending on how many dishes that you're actually shooting, which is convenient. Um, so with them, like you're able to kind of, they'll, they'll send you a notification that, hey, a booking is available in your area and you're able to either approve it or not approve it. So it's kind of convenient to be able to see ahead of time, like, okay, cool, um, can I take this because it fits within this schedule compared to Snap or sometimes how they just automatically give you booking sometimes and you may not have actually wanted to take a booking. But yeah, so Miro's another one. Like I said, they're connected directly with Grubhub and if you're into real estate, they also do real estate too. The third one is Ocus. Ocus is probably like the least paying one on the on this list. But again, because I'm into food photography, this is another one that I kind of dabbled with and stuff. Ocus, they work with Uber Eats and now they've added DoorDash on. So now you could so with Ocus, Ocus compared the difference with Ocus compared to um, Snapper and Miro is the fact that yo you get a list to that you're able to choose from. You can actually pick out which ones you want to choose. You just gotta reach out to the client, let them know like, hey, this is Kyron, the photographer from Uber Eats, and um, I'm just calling to set up a time for me to come over there, take some photos at your restaurant with Uber Eats, you know, to for the Uber Eats app, stuff like that. Just you know, stuff that I say sometimes when I call them. But you're able to literally see a, an entire list of open. Um, available restaurants that need you know photography with Uber Eats and DoorDash, you can choose. You know what I'm saying? So like, let's say your 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 calendar is already filled with your own clients and stuff like that, and Snapper clients and Miro clients, and you wanted to fill in your calendar a little bit more, you probably need an extra six hundred dollars to you know to pay for your car note this month that you don't want to use like from your main source of income to do that cool with doordash you can i mean with with ocus you can literally go in there and choose like okay cool there's one that's open for tuesday october 1st there's one that's open for tuesday october 15th october 17th october 18th you know stuff like that and you're able to manually put those in your car like calendar like i said like the clutch thing is you can actually choose so it's kind of like yo as many as as long as there's gigs available you're able to know that like yo i'm gonna be able to get guaranteed money here um so i didn't really speak about this but i'm gonna speak about this now so with snapper miro and ocus all three of them have different ways in which they pay you right snapper pays you on the first and the 15th of every month right with oh with miro they pay you on the third third and the 18th but like i said it's convenient obviously in that fact that you at least get paid twice a month with both snapper and miro now with ocus the only downside to them is you only get paid once a month you only get paid on the first so and as I said, unlike Snap or unlike Miro, where you get paid twice a month, with Ocus, you only get paid once. So, now, 
I probably mentioned this, but the downside to all of these is the fact that all of them have fixed pricing, right? You do not get to choose the pricing. The only thing you get to do, at least with Miro, is to choose where you're going with Miro, and then depending on how far you're traveling out and how many dishes you're shooting, is you'll, 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 the pricing will vary, you know what I'm saying? Like the most I've gotten for a shoot doing work with Miro was like $300, you know what I'm saying? For doing like a three hour shoot and shooting like 60 dishes. You know what I'm saying? And that was like an hour and a half away. With Ocus, with Uber Eats, they, they charge a base rate of like $70. And then their rate for working with DoorDash is like $84. And then they also give compensation for your travel. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, if fixed pricing is not for you, if you feel like, yo, listen, like I just want to be able to charge my own prices, then you don't need to do these companies. But if you're just beginning and you really want to be able to get your feet wet, Trust me, these companies, the good thing is they will keep your calendar booked. Like they will literally keep your calendar booked because of the snap fact that Snapper will give you like, give you clients and the better, the more, the higher you rank in, within that company. Like they have agents that will most likely call up on you first. Like I have agents that anytime I got product photography, project comes up or a big food product photography project comes up they'll call me they'll be like hey Kyron is my preferred guy I think you would love to work with him I'm gonna connect you to him. Miro the one down thing is the fact that you can't reschedule shoots with snapper and Ocus, you can definitely reschedule shoots and um, with snapper you can definitely get compensation if the client cancels um, with Miro the downside is you can't reschedule but if a client cancels, you will still get paid. You will definitely still get paid. My deals take the booking with Ocus. If you cancel a booking or if the client cancels a booking, you'll definitely get compensation also, but you can reschedule. Just like with Snapper, you can figure out another day to be able to um, you know, get in there and do work with them. You will not get paid if you're the one who has to reschedule with the client. Like, so with that being said, if you suck at marketing, and you want clients, like I said, look at these three companies to be able to start to get your foot, your feet wet. The good thing is when you work with those company people within those companies, the fact that you're going to meet other people is going gonna, is gonna to allow you to meet someone else at an event to be like, hey, I did a shoot with this person. Cool. And you know, you could have you, you're able to just keep piling on top and piling on top and piling on top, getting more clients to be able to build a bigger portfolio. Like I said, these companies are smaller scale. Granted, obviously DoorDash is not a small company. Uber Eats is not a small company. It does look good to be able to have those things attached to your name, but it definitely, definitely, definitely helps to be able to have these and add that to your resume. Agencies are for you. I'm gonna leave a link to the description below directly to these websites so you can check them out yourself. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me. Feel free to send me an email. Um, hit me up on Instagram, Foreign Collect Photography. Um, my food photography page is Foreign K Eats. Um, and with that being said, if you like it now, you'll love it later. Peace.